JavaScript also has plus plus and minus minus operators. And these operators add one or subtract one from the value of a numeric variable. So let's assume, for example, you've got a variable called num and its value is 10. Now num plus plus sets its value to 11, while num minus minus would set it to 9. It's possible to use these operators not only after the variable, but also before a variable. So it could be, instead of num plus plus, you could put plus plus num, or the same with minus minus. Now when placed after the variable, the expression returns the current value of the variable, and then subsequently increments it. So if num is 10, num plus plus returns a value of 10, and then sets a new value for num to 11. Now when placed before the variable, the expression increments the variable and returns the incremented value. So if num is 10, plus plus num sets num to 11 and returns a value of 11. This might be a bit tricky to understand, but you can try it out in the pre- and post-ops.html sample page. So here I'm trying num++. Plus plus. The field at the top, if you check back into the code, the field at the top displays the value returned by the expression. Here that's num++. Plus plus. And the field at the bottom then displays the value, the current value of num. So let's try it with num++. Plus plus. And you can see that the field at the top returns 10. That's the value of num before it was incremented. The field at the bottom returns the new value. That's the value of num after it's incremented. I'm going to click this button to set it back to its default value of 10. Now let's try plus plus num. So that's with the plus plus before the variable. Apart from that, the code is the same. And this time, the field at the top and the field at the bottom show the same values because plus plus num, this expression here, returns the incremented value. Let me reset this. And the same is true with these two operators. If you find this complicated, difficult to understand, the good news is that if you rewrite your code, so I do num++ plus plus here, rather than put it there, and plus plus num here, rather than do it there, save, reload this page, Let's set this back to 10, num++, plus plus, 11 in both cases, set this back, plus plus num, 11 in both cases. So by doing the incrementing prior to using the returned value, I remove that complication, that ambiguity, the difference between the value returned with a pre-increment, plus plus num, and a post-increment, num++. Plus plus. As a general rule, it's better to stick to one or the other and not to mix them in your own code, and post-incrementing, num++, plus plus, tends to be more commonly used than pre-incrementing, plus plus num, but you need to be aware that there can be side effects in certain cases.